Hey, up everyone. Right, so so today, like a, a fucking a shitload of economic data just got released. So we've had a report from Bank of England. We've had reports from European Central Bank. There's a lot of think tanks and stuff that have come out. Um, <clears throat> what's quite interesting is, um, so if you've been following my channel, you'll know that like in, when I've been talking about Brexit and like what's been going on economically and stuff, I've been rallying about the fact that the British government has done absolutely nothing about service sector, about banking, insurance, all the stuff that goes on in the city of London, all the stuff that like makes Britain one of the, the world's financial capital and stuff. Nothing got agreed about that. There was no, there's nothing. In the, in the agreement that was signed between Britain and the EU about how they were going to leave and how things were going to get set up and stuff after that, there's not a single thing that mentions anything about service sector. Not one thing, yeah. So essentially what's happened is when we left, the service sector, banking, insurance, currency speculation and stuff, all of this stuff has just been left, right? There's no rules, right? There's nothing written down about how this is going to take place between the two of us, right? And there's this kind of thing that's going on between the EU and Britain right now. Um, but there's nothing whatsoever that's been written down, right? And I've been rallying and saying this is absolutely ridiculous, you know, like this is 80% of our economy is service sector. And you've done absolutely nothing to protect this financial activity. You've done nothing to set the rules about how this is going to do. You're just leaving it all up to market forces to decide what's going to happen. And like, obviously, if that's the situation, then if market forces are in control, then London's going to lose. Do you know what I mean? Everything's going to move to the EU and there's going to be nothing left in London. That's, that's the end game that you're looking at here if you just leave it up to market forces. So, so I've been consistently going on about this, right? And saying how this is ridiculous and how, do you know what I mean? This sort of stuff needs to be sorted out. Well... It's been a few months now since we've left, but today is the first day that we're starting to get the economic figures coming through about what's happened since we left. Do you know what I mean? So, when, so this data that's come out today is all from the period just after we left, right? So we know what things were like before we left. And now, today, we've been given the data about what's happened since then, right? It's not good news. <laughs> it's not good news for Britain. It's 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 just it's terrible. It's terrible reading going through this. And like I said, just a load of shit got dropped today. So I've spent most of the day reading through this stuff. It's like massive report from Bank of England and stuff. Um, but again, like, this is the first set of figures we've got that talks about the service sector. We don't, we, up until now, we've not really known what's happened, what's been going on. Do you know what I mean? We've been in the dark about this stuff. We knew, we knew we could see things are happening. We could see there's loads of money moving and stuff. But we didn't really know exactly what's going on. Well, today we do. Now we know. And this is, this is it. This is where we are right now, right? This is... This is how badly Britain's being hit. And this is only in the first couple of months, this, right? So essentially what's going on is the EU... I mean, obviously the EU would like to have all this economic stuff that's going on in London. They'd like to have that going on in the EU. Why wouldn't they? This is trillions and trillions of pounds worth of fucking economic activity. Why would you not want that? Do you know what I mean? So the EU clearly does want this. So there's ways that the EU could have gone about this, right? They could have forced these companies to move to the EU, yeah? But this is going to incur a lot of costs on the EU. And so essentially what the EU did is they said, we're not paying for any of this, right? We're not, we're not forcing people to come to the EU. We'll just leave it up to the market. Because, like, 
So Britain's not really allowed to trade with the EU. It's not not allowed because there's no rules here right now, yeah? And Britain has asked for this thing called equivalency, which means that the EU says, look, okay, your rules, your, 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 the way that you do things financially and stuff is equivalent to how we do things. So we'll treat the two as if they're the same. And if they got that, then Britain could trade because everything's treated equally the same, right? And if that, if they got given that, then basically nothing would happen. Things probably wouldn't change and things would stay in London because people in London would still be able to trade with the EU. Right? That's a win-win situation. Yeah, but the EU's not given us equivalency. Do you know what I mean? And for the last four years, we've been trying to get them to give us equivalency and they haven't given us it. So there's not, don't look like they're going to do. Do you know what I mean? So, so what we've seen is that like, there's no real reason for anybody to stick around in London anymore, right? Because all business stuff goes on in the EU. Most of the money that Britain makes is from trading with the EU and being an intermediary between the rest of the world and the EU. Most of the business of the world with the EU goes through London. Do you know what I mean? It's the English-speaking capital of the world. It goes through London. Everything gets done in London. All of the EU's business gets done in London right now, right? Everything, right? So... So, so what the EU's doing is it knows that, like, eventually it's going to become more convenient, right, for you to have a to have your company in the EU, right? It's going to be more convenient. It's going to be easier. There's going to be less paperwork. Why would you have it in Britain? There's no reason to have your business or your company in Britain anymore, right? There's no reason for to, for you to 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 put it there. So it's going to make sense for you to have it in Europe. So. Just because people have not moved right now, in the over time, people are going to realise that it's much more beneficial to be in Europe. And so over time, everything's just going to move to Europe. Do you know what I mean? That's what the EU's banking on here. That's what the EU's plan is, is that just leave the market forces, leave it up to the market, and eventually the market will shift everything to Europe because it's going to be more convenient for people to work from there, right? So that's basically like what, what the EU's strategy is here. Yeah, I mean, this is not explicit. They've not said this. I'm just telling you what I think their strategy is, yeah. Officially, EU's like, oh, yeah, we're still up for talking to you about equivalency and stuff. But they've been saying this for, for years and we haven't got anywhere with it. There's no reason to believe we're going to get any closer to equivalency. So they're just leaving it up to market to decide what's going to happen, yeah. Right, so, anyhow, so, so what's happened? So what, 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 what have we found out today? Well, we found out all kinds of stuff, right? So, so I reported on this on us before. This, this came out before, this didn't come out today, that basically we've lost like 40% of our exports, yeah? So what we used to export to Europe, um, 40% of it, 40% um, of that's gone, right? So what we found out is that 400 companies have gone to the wall because of this, yeah? 400 companies of various sizes have stopped trading with the EU, right? Um, the thing is that this, this, this trade, right? The, the amount of trade that Britain has lost since we left, amounts to 1.4 trillion pounds. That's how much money we're not getting that we were getting before. A trillion, 1.4 trillion pounds. That is just an astronomical amount of money for you not for, like, do you know what I mean? I, that's like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's like, almost like our fucking, it, it's like half of our economy just gone. Do you know what I mean? 1.4 trillion pounds we've lost. Which means it's not getting taxed. Yeah, which means we're not, the government's not... That, that's money that the government should be taxing and then using to spend on the health service or whatever, yeah? But now we've not got that. That money's not coming in. We're not getting that. We're not being able to tax it, yeah? And in the City of London, we've lost 7,000 jobs, right? Seven thousand jobs we've lost. 
So this is this is this is just hammering home what I've been saying all the time that this is going to be massive. This is this is going to hit us massively. This is what 1.4 trillion. That's just like ridiculously astronomical numbers. You can't even you, like the human brain can't even Im imagine what a trillion is. Do you know what I mean? Like what, that's just too big a number for our brains to be able to fucking compute at all. It's just astronomical, astronomical. 400 companies, you know what I mean? That's a massive amount of fucking companies that have just gone to wall. 7,000 jobs. So, so that's basically what's happened, right? So, so basically what's happened, what's happening here is that all this business that was going on in London, is it shifted now? It's now going to the, it's now going over into Europe. So it basically had... Of the 400, we've had 135 has gone to Dublin, right? So Dublin's doing quite well out of this. Um, and then we've got Paris, 102, Luxembourg, Frankfurt, Amsterdam. Yeah, there was, these are where, this is where all this stuff's going to. So at Britain used to be the world's biggest, like, stock exchange trader of, like, stocks and stuff in the world, yeah. Since Brexit, that's all moved to Amsterdam. All that business has moved to Amsterdam. So now Amsterdam's now the largest, not Britain, right? So Britain's lost its title of, of that, and that's now gone to Amsterdam. Amsterdam's doing really well out of this. So is Dublin, though. Dublin's doing really well as well, because Dublin's also English-speaking, so it, it's it's helpful for them, do you know what I mean? So So most of it's gone to Dublin... See, that's one of the benefits that Britain had is that it's, it was English speaking and the rest of the world speaks English. So if they wanted to trade with somebody in Slovakia, rather than going and start trying to learn how to speak Slovakian, they'd go to London and let London sort all that shit out and then deal with them in English. Yeah. So that was like a major plus point for it. Now, now Britain's not there. Dublin can take over that because that's English. They speak English. So now Dublin can, can can get all that right, and that's basically what we're seeing happening here. Is that most of this business is going to Dublin, Dublin and Paris, really? So, so we're seeing this shift of 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 all this banking and stuff just shifting to Europe, right? Companies are closing left, right, and centre. People are losing their jobs. There's less and less income coming into this country, and and we're in a bit of a shit. We're in a bit of shit, to be honest. So, one of the pieces of data stuff that came out today is like this business survey that they do, so they like survey loads of companies and stuff and find out what they're thinking and what, what they're planning to do and stuff, yeah. Basically what they found out is that banking, right, is planning on moving 900 million pounds of economic assets to to the EU from Britain 900 million billion billion that's nearly another trillion right? that's nearly that's this like nearly 2 trillion pounds worth of shit that we're going to lose here 2 trillion do you know what I mean like whatever is we how the fuck are we going to manage without 2 trillion pounds worth of income that we used to get do you know what I mean this is just fucking madness Absolute madness, absolute fucking madness. In the last three in the last three three months, right? So like since this happened, like as I say, we've lost forty percent of our exports and that's that equates to five percent of our economic activity that we've lost, eleven point five billion pounds worth of trade that we've lost. So So there, that's that's it. That's basically what we found out. That what I was predicting all this time is just coming to pass. Everything's moving. Everything's leaving Britain. Companies are closing. All this economic activity, like most of this economic activity, is all digital. Do you know what I mean? It all takes place on computers and stuff. It's really easy to move it from one place to another. Companies are closing down. They're opening new businesses in Europe. Everything's just shifting. It's just moving. I've lost one point four trillion pounds worth of income. It looks like banks are going to move another nine hundred billion out of the country. Oh, and also, insurance companies are talking about moving a hundred mil, a hundred billion out of the country. So that's a, that is exactly a trillion. That's exactly a trillion. So this is two and a half trillion pounds that our economy's taken as a hit, man. This is. 
don't understand how, how you get out of this. Do you know what I mean? This is fucking terrible. It's just, it's just horrific, horrific, horrific economic news, right? It's just, it's just unprecedented. I've never seen anything, any country take any kind of hit like this before. Just don't understand how we get out of it. I don't understand what, how we get out of it at all. But yeah, so that's the state of affairs. That's the state of play. Brexit, it's been a total fucking utter disaster.